Hey guys, how's it going? Good to see ya. Um, so today I wanted to do a fun video where I come in and we take a look at the top five heroes that I wish that I played more. Um, meaning I know I like them, I have a good time with playing them, but I just, you know, time. <laughs> Time's a real thing, you know. It's tough to actually get plenty of time to sit down and play, and when I do, it's, um, I wish it was these heroes. So we will get into that with... Um, number five here being Gamora. So, I like Gamora a lot. I, when she originally came out and I got her, I uh, played a good amount, but then this was like right when I was getting into the game, that um, Guardians phase, so there's just so much to play. So, I never really get her onto the table more, but she's a good time, right? You get to use. Um, attack and thwart events, and then you get to ping extra thwart and um, damage based off of that. Um, so, yeah, she's a fun time. I like playing um, Gamora, and her cards are pretty cool, too, in her set. Um, you have Nebula, who I think is the most recurring character in the game. Um, we have an ally, a hero, and a villain. I don't know. There might be a, some more that has even more um, recurrences to them, but... Um, she's a cool ally, you know, gets to grab our, um, attack events, thwart events. Um, she has her acrobatic move, where it's just straight up dealing two damage to an enemy, but you're playing an attack event, so you use your hero kicker, um, things like that, your cross counter. I was trying to get to, um, yeah, so she just has her, like, cheap, like, cool events that she gets to do and it's just like stuff that's easy to get to the table um but yeah it was uh i mean i'm just trying to see there's conditioning room which is pretty sweet for her i'm just showing her stuff here um not adding a lot of substance but i just i'll just say i like her stuff um i wish i played her more here's gamora's sword that is what i was looking for um just playing attack events and pinging even more damage to enemies so it's cool stuff um I like her kit and everything in it, so that's cool. Want to get her to the table more. So, moving on to number four, let's check it out. We have <laughs> Nebula. So I didn't actually, I don't think I thought of it this way, but funny enough, she may might fall into the same category as like coming out in that Guardians phase, and I just didn't get the time to play them enough. But Nebula's fun. It's weird for me too. Like I typically. Like, I'll, I enjoy all the heroes, but I typically will, like, lean with towards my favorites and the ones that I want to play being heroes that aren't as thinky. Um, my brain just doesn't love it. I like there's so many heroes where you have, where you have to think through so many different steps. Um, and Nebula does fall under there. You have to get her techniques onto the table and think how you want to use them and, and order things. But I have a blast with it, um, right? So her thing is that she brings techniques out. And then you resolve those special abilities one after another when you build them up, right? So she has Gamora, who we just talked about, but in her ally form. Um, we have Nebula's ship, so she gets resource generation. She's going to get... Um, here comes her like upgrades, right? You get to remove three threat from a scheme, and it gives her cool stuff. That was piercing and overkill. She gets... Um, she gets to ignore um, guard and patrol and stun, confuse enemies. I don't know. Her upgrades are, like, really valuable and cool. So I'll just look at the upgrades and move on. But um, here's the dealing four damage one. Wide stance. No, the, that was the weapons master. Wide stance. You get to look at the encounter deck. So it's cool. I think that's all her. Um, yeah, so those were all her techniques. And then her whole kit's pretty much built around that. And it's fun. I don't know. It's a good time. I like playing um, with her techniques, and when I have played, it's been enjoyable. So I'll just need to get her to the table more. <laughs> and so number three, we come in and we look at a newer-ish hero um, for this recent wave in X-23. So I think at everyone who's played X-23 would probably agree that she's awesome. She's a lot of fun. Um, I just I wish I played her more because I got to play her when she came out. And I just, like, didn't feel like it was enough because she, there's so many cool kits that you could do because she has her, um, right, you can build, she has a one attack stat, but you can build that up so much and then get readies and just 
unleash all the time. So right, she brings in Honey Badger, um, which I'm surprised is not the first card we're seeing here. Oh, the her claws come onto the table. Um, so that's not going to be the first card, Honey Badger. So anyway, you get to exhaust, take two damage, and then you um, get plus two attack at the end of the round, just the beginning of adding to that attack. And then we get Honey Badger, who when she's onto the table, right, now there's so much you can do with sidekick things. There's just like, um, I think they put even newer decks out, that um, newer cards out that are good for her. Um, so there's just like so much new stuff that I want to try with her. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, so her stuff's all around, you know, readying, getting that attack up, working with, um, Honey Badger. So yeah, I hope, hoping to get X-23 to the table more often coming soon. At number two, rolling in, we have Ghost Spider. So I like, I maybe have played three, I don't know, a very few handful games of Ghost Spider, which is crazy to me um, because of how great she is with defense and, like, how, like, defense at first when I start, I feel like it's probably similar for most people because you don't have the card pool yet that, like, defensive decks, you're like, or protection decks, you're like, I don't want to do protection. That's green is not go, you know. Um, but now that we have, like, the whole wealth of cards to choose from, protection is just so good it's so fun um and i want to do that more with ghost spider so uh i just have such limited plays with her and i know like from everyone's responses that i've seen about ghost spider i don't know if she has a hater out there you know like she's just really fun but i like i know that i like her from those few games i know that it's so fun but i just uh don't ever get her down to the table so she has you know attack um she has her, like, George Stacy comes in and she does stuff with him. Um, then, right, then you get into your um, cool events like Phantom Flip, where um, you get to remove five threat from a scheme, right? It's cool stuff. And then she has a lot of, where is it, defensive I know she has, like, some cool defense events as well. Um, web Binding. Yeah, these are all, like, all our cards. It's, there's George Stacy that you get to bring out. Ticket to the Multiverse. Web Bracelet. Um, I'm trying to see. Oh, well, I guess I'm wrong. I thought she had defense events, but I guess that's where her the actual like protection cards come into play. But she does so much cool stuff that I just like need to play her more. I don't know if I have much more to say than that. But um, so that's number two. Now we get to roll into our number one here, which just far and away beats out any other of these that wa that I want to play more. Um, which is SPDR. So that is like, I I think maybe it was a three hand size that scared me away at first. Cause this one, I honestly don't know if I've ever played SPDR. <laughs> like I have, um, like I might've played her when I first got it, but I just, I just see it and I admire it. And I love every time I see someone playing it, but I just, I don't know, it just has panned out that way. I don't think I've ever found the time to actually dive in and play SPDR, and it breaks my heart. It crushes me um, because I just, I, it, I know she's so much fun. And, right, there's new mechanics now that I think the reason this has been put in my brain was um, people talking about SPDR stuff with, like, new cards coming out, and I wish I could remember what those cards are, but... Um, I don't know. I know there's new new stuff you can do with SBDR. Um, Venom. This just looks sick. Like, I don't even know. You get um, to bring out Venom. I don't even know what this does. Four cost. Right? It's a lot. Gets plus one thwart for each sim counter on her. After Venom enters play, place one sim counter on her for each resource generated by. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so you're the sync ratio, you're doing that all the time, right? So you can pump this stat up to a lot. So that's cool. Um, right, all systems go. I need to go back and actually look at the, the cards here, their hero kit. Exhaust and interface upgrade generate that resource, right? So despite the three hand size, you're getting a bunch of resources. Um, and then the Ultra Ego is the SPDR suit. That's not actually her Ultra Ego. I don't know where that would be. Um, but Anyway, yeah, the Alter Ego card must be hiding. Penny Parker. Um, 
but yeah, so you, when you flip, um, yeah, all kinds of stuff, but I'm just, sorry that threw me off there, but Venom, we'll take a look at what, what else is going on with SBDR. All systems go. Ready each interface upgrade, so there's got to be interface upgrades in here. Search your deck and discard pile. And I'm reminding myself, I did a, um, like, unboxing video for SDPDR and everything recently, so, well, was it recent? Whatever. Um... What are we looking at here? So we are looking at rapid deployment. This is an event, remove three threat from a scheme. If you paid for that sync, remove three threat from a scheme. Wow, so there's threat. I'm looking for, okay, so yeah, you get um, all the events, support, Aunt May and Uncle Ben. So I'm looking for her actual interface cards. So here's an interface upgrade, Hot host spider. Not hot spider exhaust host spider ready so you get some readies with those um here's your next one psychic link plus two thwart for a thwart okay so yeah a lot of these so you get to do extra stuff or you get to generate resources so speed metal alloy i feel like that's the important one right you plus two defense for that defense maybe it's not the one i was thinking of anyway but yeah you get all our all our stuff i'm just seeing how many Cool, yeah. So once you get those upgrades down, um, things start flowing. So yeah, that's SPDR. Uh, I want to play SPDR so stinking bad, <laughs> and uh, I'm hoping too soon. There's some, there's some kind. Of, I don't know if it's a mental block or what, but I'm like, whew, I know it's gonna. It feels like I have to learn a whole new thing because she has a lot going on. So maybe that's why it's prevented it. But yeah, that's my number one. I wish I played her more. I wish I could get her to the table more. But there's something that is just not let me do it and i hope i get to change that soon so um as we're looking along here i will take a look at some honorable mentions as well um cards who i like i these next ones i don't know if they fall more under and this is why they weren't in the top five right is like i have to think is it really because i don't play them because i want to play them more or is it because i just wish i liked them more and that's why i don't play them right and that's that's a uh, a thin line i think but like the five heroes i talked about i know i love them and i want to play them more these honorable mentions like i i would have to convince myself because i'd have to actually question is it because i don't love like it's because i love them and i want to play them or is it because i just kind of wish i i'd like them more you know um so i can see what we're doing with this oh, this little guy that's been there um we have Oh, yeah, I didn't bring these up, but yeah, there's Drax, right? It's like, I don't, don't you, you know, like I, um, I think Drax probably falls under that I like him and I want to play him more, but I couldn't decide, I couldn't decide. Um, and then another one would be Rogue, where, um, I think her, it's just like, I just kind of wish I liked her more. Um, Wasp, just because wasp was awesome when i first got ant-man and wasp i just dove so deep into ant-man that i ignored wasp and now i'm just like more wasp um we have miss marvel she's an honorable mention here she also might fall under the like i wish i liked her more um but i don't know we'll see we'll see there's uh, a few more here we got black widow um that's similar i feel like with um I feel like my reasoning for Nebula, where she does setup stuff, uh, like I should have a similar reason for liking Black Widow, but not playing her more, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, Domino, um, Domino is just so thinky that I love her so much and it's fun to play, but I'm like, do I want to play her more or do I want to like her more? I don't know. I think we'll see, but I just threw her on there. And then Gambit, because... I don't even think it's because of his deck. I think it's because of the character Gambit. I'm just like, yeah, I, wish, I want to play Gambit a bit more. But that's everything. That's uh, all I got for us, um, our five heroes, a bunch of honorable mentions here. But, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'm hoping to do more videos like this. Uh, please like and subscribe below. It definitely helps a lot, and I'm looking forward to just interacting with you all more. So let me know what you think. See you later.